Okay, hello everyone, how are you today? So this is Friday, happy Friday everyone, on the 6th of August. So tonight we have non-farm payrolls in the US, which is the biggest event for USD pairs. So today I will be covering USD pairs on Forex and also gold before the non-farm payrolls happen today. So let's get started. This is a video session, it's not a, it's not a live stream, so Please enjoy the video session for today's analysis. So let me squeeze my face and start right away. So just as a quick disclaimer as usual, this information today is uh, based on my own experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your risk management. And also if you can follow the guidance rules on this video session, that would be great. So usually before the non-farm payrolls or big events in the market, I don't have any positions. I don't take any trades. And I will come back to chart after the news is usually what I do. So right now I have no positions, but um, it's also always nice to check charts and expect um, how, what's, what's going to happen in the market after the news. So here is Euro USD. Let's start from the Euro USD today on the daily chart. And this is today's bearish. Well, actually, for the last four days, it's been bearish. Um, however, this is just below the Kijun Sen on the daily chart. And Kijun Sen is uh, right now flat. And uh, Kumo flat also. Kumo is flat. And Chikou span overlapping. So this is range as per each mock definition. So this is going down downtrending in the, in the short term, but um, we're not sure how far this downtrend can persist. So, and let me quickly look at the weekly chart also. And the Euro USD weekly chart shows that the market is exact, exactly in the Kumo now. And not only the market is in the Kumo, but also this Kumo is a very thick part. The Kumo is very thick and the market is right into it. And Kumo is too thin. And Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span also very close to the candles. And this is also showing the range market. Well, this is actually the P wave on the weekly chart. I think I've mentioned this on the, uh, on the Sunday's forecast. This is the P wave on the weekly chart. So it looks like the market is bouncing by the support level of the P wave last week. And today's, well, actually this week has been bearish. So... In this condition, we, we're not sure which way it's going. So simply stay away is the key. So that's for the Euro USD. And let me talk about the USDJPY. <clears throat> USDJPY as per daily chart, this is also ranging because the market is right in the Kumo now. And Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span very close with the candles. So this one also is ranging, so um, the buyers and sellers are still in equilibrium and we're not sure which way the market goes in this condition. So um, for the last three days it's been bullish, but um, it doesn't mean that the market keeps, keeps going up this way. Uh, one thing for sure is that we can draw the descending trend line, or we can draw the forecast line from the top of the range on the 2nd of July. And you can draw one of the lines to single span A, and the other one to single span B like this. And today is exactly the end of the forecast line day. So the market is right in the Kumo, into the Kumo, and also price is uh, actually in between the focus lines at the end of the focus lines. So most likely the market will close between the Kumo in this condition. And if it does, from next week, the market could be in a range. It could be go up, goes up downwards and it could be in a range market. So um, we better avoid taking trades in this particular market. So that's USDJPY. Um, of course, we might have some opportunities in lower time frames, 
because it's bullish, we might see some uptrend sometimes on the one hour chart or lower time frames. But if you are a day trader or to the swing trader, this is not a good market to be in. So that was USDJPY. So next, let me talk about the pound USD. So here is pound USD as per daily chart. The price is also very close with the, with the Kumo here. And the Kumo is flat, Kijun Sen flat too. And its call span is technically above the Kumo, above, sorry, above the candles, but this is too close with the, with the Kumo here, with the candles, in between candles and Kumo, that's call span. So uh, this is also range as per Ichimoku definition. So from here, um, the market might be resisted by the Kumo and retraces backwards, but um, we can expect that, that this downtrend can be persistent. Um, and also, um, uh, after the result of the news, if the market goes right into the Kumo like this way, and we don't want to take trades if it happens. So this one also, I would stay away and come back to the chart after the news or in Monday. And the next one I would like to talk about is the AUD USD. Another USD pair. In daily chart, this is a bit bearish as compared to other USD markets. This is bearish because the price is below the Kijun Sen, below the Kumo. But for the last couple of days, it's been ranging. And um, since the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, the market could retrace all the way back to Kijun Sen. But after the news happens, and if the USD becomes strong after the news. What can happen in this market is this pair as AUD USD. If USD is strong, then this pair will, be, will go down this way. And if it starts to go down this way after the news, then um, you can see that this is reversal line. The previous support is becoming resistances right now. So we can expect the market goes down and up and reject it at this reversal level of 0 0.7410 level and retraces backwards afterwards. But um, if the market breaks that level, then it can go up to the Kijun Sen. So in this condition also, we really have to, we really have to um, wait until the news releases. So, yeah, to make long, long story short, we have to avoid taking trades before the news, especially we have no trend in the market right now. Looks like the market has been ranging in August. So, just be careful not to jump into the market on these uncertain conditions. And also, here is gold, XAUUSD gold. As per daily chart, this is also ranging because the Kumo flat. Kijun Sen is going up, but uh, the price is very close to the Kumo and it's close span still within the Kumo and this is very close to the candles. So the market simply goes up and down within this range and there is no direction to it. So um, last week I mentioned that I'm actually waiting for the breakout of this um, previous resistance level of 1834.82 level. I am still waiting for the market to break that level upwards and then expecting the market goes up from there. But um, looks like for the last uh, three days, the market is going downwards. And it's going down to the previous support level at 1794.14. So if the market breaks that level downwards, this is the neckline of this double top and we can expect the market goes down this way. So today, tonight's non-fund payrolls news can be an impact for this downtrend on gold. So um, we have to watch out, but we can expect, we can't expect uh, the breakouts gonna happen to date, uh, today uh, due to the news, because the uh, market is still ranging and there are some supports here strong support in this area and also this is especially the reversal level the previous support resistances many times 
on this level, 1793.62. So uh, unless the market breaks, unless you confirm the market breaks the support level, we have to stay away. Otherwise, the market goes up and it might persistently in the range like this. So it um, looks like markets are very tricky right now. I, have, I, don't ha I don't see any trending markets on higher time frames. So simply in this condition, I stay away. And um, so I read books in this kind of range in market. And uh, also I would uh, backtest my strategies. I was actually looking back my own trades on the month of uh, July and looking back my losses and wins and find a way to improve my past trades also. So um, that's what I usually do when the market is ranging and especially usually in uh, forex markets on these major pairs, minor pairs, um, there are big events, big news on the first week of the month, every month, including non-farm payrolls. So um, yeah, when there is, there is no trend and if the news happens, and it goes against the major trend direction, then simply um, I stay away and uh, come back to chart next week. And it looks like that's what's happening right now in the market right now. We have to stay away from next week, no rush to take trades because markets are open 24 hours except uh, weekends and holidays. And, uh, but we have opportunities every month. So let's just wait for the next trend to come and simply uh, look for some new opportunities afterwards. So um, yeah, once again, uh, if you are coming here late, uh, Euro USD, I covered today, I covered the USD pairs. So quickly following up, the USD, so Euro USD, the market is bearish right now, but uh, the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span touching. So in terms of Ichimoku definition, this is range. The market might drop downwards, but this is actually the P wave on the weekly chart. If I switch it to the weekly chart, this is called P wave, squeezing range market. The highs are lower, lows higher. This is P wave squeezing. So the market is dropping downwards now, but uh, it might test this uptrend line and uh, the market could go up afterwards. But uh, the news triggers the news could break the P wave downwards too. And we never know which way it's going because it's ranging. And also on the weekly chart, the price is exactly in the Kumo now, where the Kumo is very thick, like in this condition. So simply wait until the market moves up and downwards or supported by this trend line or breaks it through downwards after NFP. Or sometimes um, it might not going to have any impact in the market. Yeah, even if you have big news, it doesn't mean that the market always affected by these news. Sometimes there is no effect in the news and uh, yeah, we don't see any like movements in the market. Um, so it happens, like it happens in the pound this week. There was a big news in pound, but um, it doesn't give any impact in the market in pound pairs. So yeah, but uh, we know that there will be NFP, and also there's a big event in Canada as well tonight. So uh, yeah, in case we, we, have, we see any big news, big events right now, we have to stay away and come back to the chart afterwards. Afterwards mean that I would say one hour afterwards will be fine. But make sure you don't trade right after, like five minutes after, 10 minutes after will be too quick to come back to the chart. So at least give at least like one hour of time after the news and f try to follow the trend direction in higher time frames afterwards. So that is my advice for tonight's non-farm payrolls. Most likely I will be staying away from the market and I won't look at, the, uh, look at this uh, event real time. So simply I will take a good rest and come back to the chart on Monday. So yeah, that's my analysis for today. So thank you for joining on this video session today. If you liked it, please press the like button. And also uh, upcoming GTS, actually there is only two seats available. It's a three, but now there are two seats available
for October session. So in case you're interested, please look at the below the description for details. And uh, if you wish to join, please contact me by email so that I can give you further details about the course. Okay, so once again, thank you for joining on this happy Friday. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you on the next one. So tomorrow, tomorrow will be psychology day. So I have posted the poll, the vote uh, on YouTube and also Twitter. So please check one of these platforms and please find the vote and please click, please select on one of the selections, one of the choices and vote and I will cover the topic tomorrow on psychology part. So yeah, I will see you there. Until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, and also stay gold. Looks like the COVID case is increasing worldwide. So I hope yourself and family and friends, everybody is safe and healthy condition. So yeah, once again, stay gold everyone. Thanks so much and see you soon. Bye for now. またね。